Million Dollar Maybe was okay. It's not my favourite episode of The Simpsons, but I didn't mind it. This is the 11th episode of the 21st season, directed by Chris Clements. And the main narrative I'll get in with a moment, because that's where most of my thoughts are, but the subplot involves Lisa buying a Z, Z-I-I, for uh, her for grandpa and for the other people at the retirement home it is of course uh, an off-brand nintendo wii and i have to say i love how it was animated they played tennis and it just reminded me of the heyday of the wii and i thought it was a lot of fun and really great and i loved how the little uh, remote was it called a remote I'm going to call it a remote, it was, uh, was animated and it was just brilliant fun. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. The main narrative focuses on Homer getting a fortune cookie that says it's his lucky day and Lenny and Carl convince him to take advantage of that, just in case. And armed with that motivation, Homer decides to buy a lottery ticket. And he wins. Unfortunately, at the time when he bought the lottery ticket, he was supposed to be doing a speech at a wedding with Marge. He was supposed to be singing a speech with uh, Marge. And the the news, <laughs> the news, on TV it was announced that the winning lottery ticket was sold at this particular time. And Marge knew she was on the phone to Homer at that particular time. So Homer can't tell Marge that he's won. And he's won big time. So he finds really fun and creative ways to gift his family various things without telling them that he's won the lottery. And it's so creative. And I think the thing that made it quite exciting was wondering what he'd do next or what he'd buy for them next or how he would be able to gift it to them without telling them the truth. Of course, there's also the question, will Marge ever find out? Will she ever find out that Homer won the lottery? And will she ever find out that he lied? Because he said he was almost at the church when he was actually in line at the Quickie Mart waiting to buy a lottery ticket. And it's the first time there's ever been a line at the Quickie Mart. And I just, yeah, it worked well. The train gag, I thought, played out fantastically. It was really enjoyable. As I said, I didn't completely love it. But there's no specific reason for that. It's just not one of those episodes where I've instantly gone, wow, best episode ever. There are some like that for me. But I, I thought it was pretty fun, pretty creative. Nothing about it I think should have been done differently. How it ended, I won't, I won't divulge, but I liked the ending as well. So the journey was great. The destination was nice. Very well animated. Nice soundtrack, including Coldplay which was pretty good as well. So yeah, in all, I liked it. It may not be my all-time favourite, but there's absolutely nothing about this episode that I think should have been done differently, and I probably will watch Million Dollar Maybe again at some point.